Hi, this is Deidre at Jean Andrew Hair Solutions. Today, I'm going to give you some information about making a mold for a custom unit or cranial prosthesis. Some clients are unable to come into the salon for me to do this as part of their face-to-face -face consultation. So please use this as a resource to make as accurate a mold as possible of your head shape in the way that you will uh, conceal your hair underneath. That is very important. The way your hair is when you make the mold is how the custom unit or cranial prosthesis will be made to fit your head. Make sure you take that into consideration when you make the mold of your head. Right now, I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you some information about making a U-part mold because that one is a little more complicated than the general mold, which is all of your hair slicked back. And that's very simple and easy for someone to take care of at home. A U-part, this is when you leave a small amount of your hair out on top like this. This hair that is braided right here is the hair that's going to be left out to go over your custom made unit. Okay, so we have that French braided that's tucked away. This will not be a part of the mold. Around here, you're going to have all of this outline on your mold when you finish because that is where the mold is going to lay flush. Excuse me, this is where the custom unit is going to lay flush, right in through here, and this is going to come out on top of it. This is why I said I'm doing this one opposed to a general mold where all the hair is tucked away. Okay, so now that I've explained that to you, you know what this is about. You know that the hair is, um, this hair is just gelled down, okay? So that way you can really get the gist of how flat the hair needs to be. And it's coming away from the hairline because when you have the mold on and you start to outline, you need to be able to see your hairline. Your hairline should not be concealed by any hair going over it. That is gonna that, that won't allow you to properly trace the hairline in the nape area. This is the nape area, the nape of the neck from this side over here to over here, right and left, that's your nape. Okay, and now we'll get started. What you're gonna need is one box of cling wrap, scissors, a Sharpie, preferably a dark color. So you could do black, red, green, blue, brown. No light colors, please. These show much better on the mold. And clear packaging tape. Okay? Um, something else you want to take into consideration when you're making a mold, you want somebody to do this for you because you will not be able to see the posterior of your head and trace it effectively to where I get a good mold to make your custom unit. Please allow someone to help you with this so you can get a really good mold. Measurement and mold making are critical in making custom units. So what you're going to do is you're going to take two pieces of saran wrap, okay? And go down like this, then you're going to come down over here and you as the client when you're having this done you're going to be holding this down okay that way it could be nice and tight what I'm going to do is just smooth it down in the same way you would like you know if you're covering a piece of food or something okay now I'm gonna go just a little longer not exactly the fun part, but you're going to do this, cover there, okay, no you don't want to cover your face, 
I'm going to take one more just to make sure in here. Side to side. your mold, your plastic to be nice and flat. And you don't want it to bunch up and you want to be able to see the hairline as easy as possible, all right? All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make an outline even before I put the tape on. So that way when I put the tape on, I have that outline to trace. Make sure your lighting is good. And you are going to follow the outline of the area that is going to be covered by the custom unit. And then this is like preschool and first grade. We went in and made good tracings. Okay, the beginnings of art. Follow well. This is how, this is what I will follow to make the unit. All right, so we've done that. Now, we take our cling wrap. Make a few strips. Okay. Here's our first one. I just like to go ear to ear on the first one. Nice and tight. Okay. Then I'm going to go front to back, nice and tight. The reason you want it nice and tight is because you want that mold to fit as close as possible and to mirror your head shape as close as possible. Another aspect of making this mold is so I can be able to see and replicate the contours of your head, not just the outline of your hairline. You know, the wig is made to fit the contours of your head. And that's how you get a very realistic effect with custom units and cranial prosthesis. So, once I get the horizontal and the vertical tape down, then I kind of start to go diagonal. If your head is round, it doesn't do well with just straight lines.
start getting to these nice curvy areas is smooth the tape down with the other hand as it's as adhering to the rest of the mold as you want it as flat as possible no wrinkles or lumps and bumps going on okay Now, if you are fortunate enough to have someone help you with this while you're making your mold, then you're able to hold it very tight like that and you don't have to worry about the plastic moving around, okay? Or make the strips long enough to tie under your neck. But when you're having the mold made, you want to keep your head very still because if you start out like this and then you bend, then that's going to change up the contours of the plastic. pieces to fill in over here with tape and then we're going to come back here and fill in this area also with a little bit of tape okay so with that said I'll take a few short pieces so we don't have the bulk going on need to sometimes you might need to cut a little area as you're making the mold now when you make this mold and you send it to me, I'll make your unit, but I will save this mold. So that way, when you make your future order, you don't have to send me anything. You say, Deidre, I would like this type of unit made, U part or general uh, coverage, and this is the hair length texture that I need. Whatever you feel left out plastic, make sure you get in there and make a nice, tight, close fitting mold. Okay. So, we have our mold. Now, we're going to go back and trace again the hairline. So that way, now you have tracing on the top of the shipping tape. Okay. Yes, this is a Sharpie permanent marker. You go behind the ear, not on top of the ear 
or outline the ear. It's behind the ear, okay? Don't think about cutting back a little bit or anything like that. Get as close on the hairline or to the edge of the area that will be concealed as possible because you want the most realistic finish. Okay, one little piece over here. Yeah, I felt the uh, still just the ring and wrap. All right, now what we're going to do is we are going to remove the plastic from your head, the whole mold, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the mold off, and this is a mold that I already had made, okay? This is the one that I use to make my unit. You see, it's a general mold all the way around. And then I also have my U part in there. So I can use this for either type of cranial prosthesis, any type of cranial prosthesis, really. Okay? So what I did after I took the mold off of my head, I then went around and I cleaned it up with the scissors. So that way, I made it able to easy to work with. Now, when I'm ready to make my cranial prosthesis, I put it on my padded head or my, you know, or the block that fits this mold, and I'm good to go. So, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please give me a call, 832-922-8729, and I look forward to meeting your hair replacement needs. Thank you. Bye-bye.